No matter your age, your plan for retirement can start today. From the News Channel 5 Network, this is the Retirement Report. Good morning. Welcome to the Retirement Report. I'm Hank Parrott, your host. You know, one of the things I find almost every week uh, when I'm reviewing with clients, uh, new clients coming in and we're taking a look at their uh, assessing their current financial situation, where their investments are, uh, if they've got 401ks, 403bs, uh, thrift savings plan, you know, any, any number of company plans, of course, IRAs, Roth IRAs, whatever it might be. One of the things there is their investment options within those plans. Unfortunately, with most company plans, there are a lot of limitations on what you have available to even invest in. And what's worse, I just had a friend of mine, for instance, who uh, I, was, I was working with, going over her 401k and looking at it, she had like eight investment options. Everything else was a target date fund. All right, these target date funds, uh, the problem being that target date funds are where uh, the company is going to do, whether it's Fidelity Bank or whatever company has, puts these out there, and there are numerous, numerous, numerous uh, different uh, ver versions of these or varieties of these. They all pretty much work the same. They're taking, um, in, most in, in, in almost every instance, in fact, I can't think of one exception even, they're using actively managed mutual funds, they do the asset allocation for you. You pick a target date, uh, which is you know based on like when you're going to retire. All right. So an example would be this is 2015, and you know you may be looking at 15 years to retirement, so you're looking at a 2030 fund, or maybe it's only five years to retirement, and you're looking at a 2020 fund. And that's so. You're, the goal of these is that when you the closer you get to retirement, they change the asset allocation to go more into bonds, which are considered less risky than stocks, and therefore it's going to protect you if there's a market downturn. All right, so that's, that's the conception. Now the reality, unfortunately, is it doesn't work. All right, it, and one great example of this, so I, I take a look at her funds that she has available, and unfortunately there weren't a lot of options. The best one being an S&P 500 index fund. Thank goodness, at least we've got something to work with here. Uh, and then we've got, a, and it was a, a decent fixed income fund that had short-term uh, bonds in it. Again, that's critical, one to five years in duration, all investment grade. You can put, at least if, if that's the best you can do and you can put those together, you can somewhat modify or, or moderate, if you will, the uh, volatility or risk in your portfolio. Now, here's the other part of it though. I looked at the target date funds and I thought, well, since we can't find really good asset allocation options other than just these two, I mean, I can't get my small caps, I can't get internationals, I can't get emerging markets, I can't get a lot of the other asset categories I'd like to have in a truly diversified portfolio. So, you know, what do we do? And I thought, well, let me look at a target date fund, see how bad this, this thing has actually done. And I looked at a 2020 fund, five years out to retirement. Okay, and I look, how did it do in 08? Oh my goodness, right? It dropped 36% in 2008. The S&P dropped 37, where's the protection? Okay, I mean, if you think about it from October of 07 to March of 09, that total bear period, the S&P 500 dropped like 55%. And this fund that was just 1% less than that, imagine this person, this poor person in a 2020 fund as an example, or in a, you know, that maybe invested back in 2010 and, and out in 2015, or, or went through that period where in 08 they're getting you know, three to five years out to retirement and all of a sudden they lose over half of their money. Can you imagine? All right, and, th and, it, and they're in a fund that's supposed to protect them against that very thing and moderate that. So here's, I'm gonna run through some, a quick recap of something I've done on a recent show. All right, and this has to do first off with portfolios, understanding asset allocation. And then from there, I'm gonna talk to you about an investment. Now imagine this. All right, I'm gonna show you how to, the science, if you will, of investing, how you can in fact now, hopefully within your 401k, you can apply these principles. If not, we look to minimize. Now, one of the big pluses is if you've got matching. So in her situation, she had matching of the first 6%, 100% of the first six. Wow, that means if I put in 6%, okay, if for every 1,000 I put in, the company puts in 1,000. That's 100% return. I can't go wrong, right? 
So what's, what do I need to do? I just need to now not lose that money. As Warren Buffett said, rule number one, never lose the money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. And that's so true. We want to get a return that can keep ahead of inflation and taxes so we don't lose any money. All right, so let's take a look at this slide. We're gonna go, I'm gonna show you some slides, just kind of quickly recap the week before, or I mean a recent week. Here's, first off, I'm gonna start with the roadmap. When someone comes in my office, first thing we take a look at is we determine what are your monthly expenses, and based on that, we set up a basic financial plan. So we tell you, you know, like for instance, how much do you need an operating fund? That is your checking account that pays your bills each month. And in that situation, on a checking account, uh, it'd be one, t one month's worth of expenses. So if you spend 3000 a month to live on, 3000 in checking. If it's 6000 a month, 6000 If it's 12000 a month, 12000 That's how much goes into your checking account as a rolling balance that you want to maintain. That way you pay your bills as they come due. You're not waiting for checks. It's great. Next, an emergency fund. You need about six months worth of expenses. So again, same math. 3000 a month expenses, $18,000 you want in an emergency fund. 6,000 monthly expenses, you want to have $36,000 in an emergency fund. Again, 10,000 a month in expenses, $60,000 for an emergency fund. That money go needs to stay in like a money market account, a savings, checking, okay, where it's, it's, li it's liquid, there are no penalties. You can take it out as you need to. Money markets work great for that. Historically, you'll get one to three percent in these accounts, even though right now, of course, they're way lower than even one percent. All right, short-term fund. Now you look at what kind of expenses you're going to have over the next three to five years, and we want to keep that, or one to five years, and we want to keep that also safe and liquid. And that's going to vary according to the individual. You're going to need to buy a new car, do some things around the house. That's how much money goes in there. And again, we're looking for a greater return each time, so maybe we can go into some short-term annuities or CDs to give us some extra earnings on that. Maybe even an income and growth uh, conservative portfolio might work depending on your situation, especially if you can, uh, you know, if the money's going to be money, say, three years out as an example. And then your long-term fund, that's the one we're going to talk about today mainly. Those first three, when we talk about the three worlds of investing, those first three columns are all in that first world, which is going to be the safe world, and we're going to show you that as well. And then that last one, the long-term fund, that's your retirement accounts, your investments, your money that's in the stock market, uh, annuities, all of that is in there. That's the money we're growing to provide us income from when we no longer have paychecks, right? That's going to replace those. Okay, now let me go to Three Worlds of Investing, and we'll show you that real quick. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to be going through a lot today, so, you know, keep the pen and, pan, pen and pad handy. No phone. And so, bank uh, on safety and protection, uh, your, your safety part, let's go with, uh, for instance, CDs and that, the, the first world, that's the one on your left. So, those first three columns I talked about, your uh, operating account, emergency fund, short-term fund, they're all going to be in that safe world, protected, where your principal is guaranteed, interest is guaranteed. Uh, where you, you know, there's going to be penalties for early withdrawal, so we want to make sure the terms match up. The problem is the returns don't keep up with inflation and taxes. All right, so quickly, I'm going to talk about potential and growth at third world over to the right. This is the stock market, mutual funds, and we're going to get into annuities today. I really want to focus, uh, on, I'm going to talk about the market stuff, recap, but then I want to really hit on these annuities because this is some of the areas that I find people are the most confused about, don't understand, and they're so important to get it right because there are good ones and bad ones, and understanding which ones to avoid and which ones might work for you is incredibly important. So we're going to talk about variable annuities as those to avoid and why, as well as the stock market and the potential for growth, and this is how we stay ahead of inflation and taxes, or at least one proven way to do so. Okay, one of the things also, as we do this, I'm going to offer up to the first 10 callers this week, I'm going to you know, do free, a free retirement income analysis. One of the things that I do in the office, when I do an assessment such as this, so this is the kind of things I'm going to be sharing with you today, is walking through, and I'm going to do a fast part, 
but the, a part of what we do is we walk through with clients, we show them how to do asset allocation, we show them how to get the most out of their company plans, their 401ks and the like, how to invest properly to make sure that they minimize volatility while getting the returns that they need to maintain their standard living and quality of life, to attain their financial goals in retirement. All of that we do is just one part of a comprehensive plan. So for the first 10 callers, free retirement income analysis, including this investment analysis, how to, in fact, understand how to invest in the market, how to watch out for the traps that are out there that I'm going to go into. We'll talk to you about annuities. You probably have questions. Maybe you have annuities. You know, what are good ones? What are bad ones? Which ones should I avoid? Why? We're going to get into all of that as well, and that's another thing that I do when I meet with people. In addition to setting up a plan so that they know they're going to be able to attain and maintain the standard of living and quality of life they desire, when they can retire, when they should take Social Security, all of those questions we answer. So if you're one of the first uh, 10 callers to my office, Debbie is standing by, 615-376. 5325. She'll send you out a checklist of things to bring to the appointment, as well as a free copy of my book, Seven Steps to Financial Freedom and Retirement, where I lay out the entire plan we're going to be doing for you, right? We're going to get into all that, the comprehensive planning, IRA mastery, uh, how, to, how to invest safely, uh, how the smart money invests in the market, uh, long-term care, everything we cover, and of course, estate planning, which is another very important part of a good comprehensive plan. So. If you, um, if you, what we're going to do, I got a lot to cover this morning. I want to get into the target date fund again. How you can, how better ways that you can go to protect yourself, and we're going to get talk about the truths and the myths of, in, of uh, investing in annuities, what the good and the bad and the ugly are, if you will. So join us here. We'll be right back on the retirement report. Mm -hmm. 